Hi, everyone. Great to be with you. And thanks so much for joining me today, um, for joining us here at the amazing West Bend Festival. Um, I am really thrilled to be able to share with you some old and some new music, um, music by dear composers near and dear to my heart and probably yours, like Bach, and some composers who you may have not heard before, but who have truly something special to say and to share with you. So these include Vincent Ho from uh, Toronto, Rina Esmail from the States, uh, Michael Osterley from where I live, Montreal, Wesley Hardisti from the Northwest Territories, and finally, Owen Zamet, who is a student at York University. It's a real pleasure to share this music with you, especially on this violin. This is a violin from the Canada Council for the Arts Musical Instrument Bank. It's over 100 years old. It was made in 1902 um, in Italy by a maker. His name was uh, Enrico Rocca. And it's been such a pleasure to be able to play it in different spaces here on the West Bend grounds. So you'll hear it in this fabulous West Bend barn. You'll hear it out in the meadow just beside us. And you'll also hear it in the Conservancy, which is uh, just down the road in the middle of the forest. I want to give a huge thank you to Brian Finley and the team here. I can't name everyone because there's a really big team behind this camera that's making this happen today and making the whole digital concerts at the barn and the festival happen in general. So a huge thanks to West Bend Festival and big thanks to you. Enjoy the music.
Hi everyone, I'm Rina Esmail, and I'm the composer of Darshan. So the word Darshan in Hindi means seeing or beholding. And that word has a religious connotation. Um, in Hindu culture, um, you might go to a temple to give darshan to a god, and that means to pray to the god, but also to, to see the god. And maybe that god sees you back, and maybe they, they hear your prayers. So it's supposed to be this moment of really divine spiritual connection. So even though this is just the single movement of darshan that exists, and the other four are kind of in the pipeline right now, um, it's actually movement three of the piece, so it's the central movement of the piece. And it's in this Indian raga, this Hindustani raga, called Charukeshi. And the thing that I love about Charukeshi, and especially that I love about listening to it through Western ears, is that the bottom half of the scale will sound major, and then the top half of the scale will sound minor to Western ears. and. I love it because it means that there are these places in the rag that have um, this really, you know, abject darkness, and then there are places that kind of shift towards the light. So just within that one scale, within those few sets of tones, you have so many sonic possibilities and possibilities for expression. Um, this piece um, was really to me about grief and all the different ways that we express grief. You know, grief might feel like this just weight at the pit of our stomach. It might feel like you're just crying and screaming out into the void and wondering if anyone is even hearing you. You know, it might feel like something's just slipping out of your grasp, or it might feel like this radio silence that's just deafening and you are maybe hearing something through it and you're not even sure if you're really hearing it or not. And I think this piece kind of combines all those different facets of grief, all those different ways of experiencing grief. Um, I wrote this piece before the pandemic, but of course I think it's taken on a new life and new meaning in this time. And I hope that as each of us finds our way through this maze of grief, that maybe something in this piece will resonate deeply with you.
Hi, my name is Vincent Ho, and I am the composer of the piece Morning Song, being uh, performed by violinist Amy Hillis. Now, a little bit about this piece. I wrote this back in 2005 while I was living in Glendale, California. I recall I was out one evening uh, with some friends celebrating an event, and I didn't get back home until very early in the morning. I think it was 5, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I was feeling still a little energetic, so I decided to, rather than going to bed, I went to my studio and wanted to get some work done. As I was sitting in the studio, I could see through the uh, window that the sun was slowly rising over the horizon. I was struck by this uh, scene, I was struck by its beauty, and I felt inspired. So I quickly went to the piano, grabbed some manuscript paper, and uh, tried to compose a piece that captured uh, the awe that I was experiencing as I was watching the sunrise. Uh, and so by the end of the hour, the first draft of the piece was done and the uh, sun was out. And so you could say this piece uh, represents a musical snapshot that was created at a very particular moment of inspiration that I still look back upon with great fondness each time I hear this piece perform. I hope you enjoy it, and I'd like to thank uh, violinist Amy Hillis and the uh, West Bend F Festival for programming this work. Thank you so much. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Owen Zamet and my piece is called Brotherhood. 
Uh, it was my f second composition, and it was my first ever composition for violin. Uh, it was kind of a piece that I, I didn't really have a plan for. I just kind of sat down, started writing, and went from there. I tried to make it flow as, as well as possible, make it a cohesive piece. And um, I tried to really experiment with, with different techniques and, and, I don't know, just different m melodic shapes and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but with that being said, uh, I hope you all enjoy. And thanks for taking the time to, you know, watch this. <laughs>